from a, a young Thomas. I, I'm, I'm kind of just trying to figure out the link from your life before this, and, and you know, you, people would know you from the town and all that, to being the guy who runs the, the, the great food truck. Well, was there something in you that you always wanted um, to do this? Or? Well, I've always been looking at them. The, right. job, the plan was eventually to buy a copy truck or food truck. Okay. Um, I hadn't got a plan this film now, but uh, <laughs> this one came up. Right. I was working in Sandy for it at the time and I just couldn't drive past it every day to be honest with you. It's one of them ones. Now I'd love to drive past it every day. Because <laughs> they are long days, that's probably something you knew before you stepped into it. This is not like a 9 to 5. There is a sort of degree of it's you. Far you're up from before people five. and you're, you're up, up. When people leave, you're still here um, working away. Yeah, so, it's heavy, but it's fine. It's worth it. Like. Yeah. Well, well, it is like it. There is a community thing, of course, as well that that you know people do like it when you give them food. So there is, <laughs> and kill people are good to to their own. They're good to yes. everybody, but like yeah, yeah. they do support local around here. So uh, it is. It makes it takes half the battle away, I suppose. And if the gear is good, sure, yeah. they're gonna come and get it. Like well, that's it. I was gonna ask now, with the, in regards of getting yourself ready, was there a, beyond being becoming a barista? Was there a lot of you know? Uh, sitting down and figuring out what do we do, what's our menu, uh, did that take I a long time? And done a brisket course, right. I'd never made coffee before in my life. So <laughs> <laughs> I went and done a brisket course right. and then jumped into a two-footed to be honest with you. Okay. Um, did all my HACCP search and all and uh, sort of made the menu on the go to be honest with you. And was it, was it, I don't know whether it was, uh, you know, a hard day's night, whether it was just a lot of fun. I mean, I, I don't know what way you, it, it sort of hit you. It was interesting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense. It, there was a lot of fun in it, but then the dark nights you're up here making coffee or painting or cleaning right. or the well, fun gets knocked out a little bit. But you've changed, the, this is a sort of a, 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 an unofficial or official launch today. Could you've been up and running, but now this is, you know, it looks like a new gander outside. It, it feels like a... You know, a beginning. I don't know if that's the way it feels for you. Like this is a start or something, or, or you just yeah. decided let's let's tell everybody we're here. Well, it, well, it was a bit closed off before, so we've gone for more of an open cafe breakfast lunchy vibe. Right. We outdoor seating and just a better availability on the lunch menu. Yeah. It's the plan. Try and hit breakfast lunch. That's our one. That's a latte for that lady there. Do you have a cappuccino? Sorry, we're on the show. That's all right. It makes you realise, like with someone like Nicky now, after 31 years, deciding he's going to hand up his uh, hang up his apron. That makes you feel it's a, it's a tough uh, it's a tough life in, in some ways. Obviously, he loved it long enough to do it for 31 years. There's there are certainly big boots to fill. Yes. Um, and I don't plan on filling them. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, Nicky served the village great for yeah. 30 odd years. I bought stuff off him. I've been in and out of the shop. The cafe was great. Yeah. A couple yeah. of his coffee yeah. drinkers are here at the minute. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in terms of, yeah, we won't be filling Nicky's boots anytime <laughs> soon anyway. Which we filling the cups, and I do think that, that like Greystones and Dalgy and all that, there's, there's new people arriving every day, it seems. So there is that sense of it. It's a, it's a, a community. It's you know, growing rather than there's any kind of sense of it uh, shrinking. So that that's obviously good for you, that that feeling of it. Uh, not only are you got the hardcore, you know, people that you've known all your life, but then there's always new people walking. There's constantly the new people in Kilkill and yeah. Greystone Church. Must be on the fastest ground places in the country at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And then there's greenways planned down the seafront to link the two of them up. So to right. be a, for a better link between Greystones and Kilkill. So hopefully we'll benefit from that too. Yeah. And people start coming this way instead of everybody going that way to Greystones. That's Kilkill's problem is Greystones are too close to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. But there is such a population, you know, you've got you know, Eden Gate and Byron Kelly are right there beside you. So there is that sort there's, of convenience for a lot of people there. There's to, plenty around to be, for both places to be sustainable anyway. Yeah. Definitely. Now, I suppose the last thing would be when you always drove by and you always thought you'd like to get a food truck. Is it anywhere close to what you hoped? Or is it is it a, is it a, always a learning process? I don't know if, if you've sort of caught yourself and said, "Holy mackerel, I'm actually doing it." When you're uh, constantly learning, like for someone right. that didn't do it before. Yeah. You're going to say I've mapped it. <laughs> I'm going to you. Like, uh, every day you're, you're, you're learning. There's different people, different processes. But I'm guessing it feels great though to be doing something that you had always. I don't know something you're passionate about. Like I, I yeah. had decent jobs before, but they're always just a means to an end. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was in retail management for a long time, but it's a means to an end. 
and that's what's the most important thing is that if, if needed now you'd have a bit of Bailey's or whiskey for some of the coffees wouldn't you sorry you have a bit of Bailey's back here or, or whiskey for the coffee oh for myself yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you give me a wink and all the, all the right order you can sneak them in yeah yeah